Greetings. This is Arvette McLean of Speak the Universe Listens. Change your thoughts, change your life. Step into the bigness of you. This week has been an overall good week. Um, this week I got presented with a opportunity, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's a it's a job offer, and so um, I just sort of been in my head this week a little bit, just because right now I'm independent, um, I have my own business, and so I feel like. I just don't want to give up my independence, mm-hmm. but the offer is good, so I'm I'm sort of in in limbo with it a little bit. So I don't I don't want to uh, just hop into it. I really want to put some thought into it, mm-hmm. but then also I'm sort of still just lost <laughs> a little bit. So um, the main thing is I'm, I've been thinking about before like started my business and I had the same situation um, and plus I was in a different mind state then I went on ahead and had an offer presented to me it was a job and the benefits it was good and I went on ahead and took it and I put my business on the background so now years later I had the exact same opportunity but I'm in a different head space now and things are different from it so just wanted some insight from you guys and just uh, choosing, like, I'm going to say choosing, but just basically trusting your decision. Trusting my decision. Let me ask you this. Are you, do you have any thought or any fear of making the wrong decision? Um, no, I'm just hesitant because I really wanted to make the right decision. So it's almost like I know I have to make a decision. I gotta make one quick and fast. But I'm just, I'm so hesitant to make it because, well, I might be. I might be, yeah. That's all yeah. And man, I think I, mean, about, I, I might out. be, yeah. Honestly, I was like, man, you're just training, man. <laughs> yeah. I might be. So, um, I think that's, that's what it is. It's just fear of, uh, in a way, wanting to make sure right thing and honoring myself, you know, versus I don't want to repeat the exact same thing that I did years ago. Mm-hmm. So, you know. so I think we can we can break it down like we do everything here. What do you want? You made that easy. <laughs> <laughs> so but, so what so what's the con of just staying where you are with your independence? Um the con uh, I would say uh you said no benefits, right? Yeah, alright, so it's like no benefits as to 
to where you know, I get paid, you know, paid vacation and um, the benefits that they offer. So that's one side of it. Um, the pro of having my own is basically I have the freedom to just move the way that I want to move, which I love. Um, now, I've been thinking about the pros with being with a company. and sick time you know I had that before but it also like I said right now in my situation I look at it like it's, it's a good thing so let me so you're saying like with your own business if you don't work you don't eat is that what you're saying yeah, yeah. you don't have the luxury yeah. of paying the time off yeah I don't have the luxury to so that means you're making less with your business than you would make the same. But you gotta work twice as hard. But I gotta work twice as hard. Right. Because it's like I can take a vacation and then I have to work to make, to, that, to up. make that up. But that's just working to make up two weeks a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me. Yeah. Because the only benefits you said that's the only pros of that than what you doing now is you only said two things. Basically it's benefits. It's one. It's basically one thing. It's just benefits. The amount of money you make. So it's almost like, let's just say, at, I'm just making up numbers. I don't have right. any idea what industry, your industry pays, right? But let's just say um, at your job, if you were to take a job, you make 50000 a year. And if you are working on your own, let's just say you're making 48000 a year. And so basically you're like, in order for me to take that time off, it's going to be two or four weeks that I can't eat. <laughs> like so, I think the first thing is I, I really don't think this. I'm just yeah. I'm just lying when I say that I think this, because um, you know I think totally different than what I'm saying. But um, it's a matter of measuring how much money you make versus how much money they paying you. How much would you need to make in order to take two weeks off? And then also I'm looking I'm looking at it like okay I have. Beforehand, I realized like going out on your own, there's no safety because you, it's everything is everything is on you, and which is fine. Uh, but now we're going back to like having that cushion and having that guarantee, like hey, like I know I'm guaranteed to make X Y Z. Do you know that? Do you know that? Well, now because. Um, we just had some type of situation called COVID pandemic or something. Right. <laughs> yeah. That shows you none of them jobs guaranteed. None of them. Nothing is guaranteed. True. But I think it's a, um, like a little bit in your head, like a stability thing. To be honest with you, it's it, not stability, but easier stability easy. with them. Because you feel like you're going to get a check every two weeks no matter you know what you know uh, whatever you get paid that's that's the comfortable part about it right you know um but then again like i said i think i'm i might just be in my head about it because like i said i, I like my freedom and i can still do the exact same thing but i just want to make sure that it's like all right i'm honoring myself like i'm not just doing it I'm not trying to, I just want to make sure it's the right, I'm making the right move for Steve. So That's when you made the decision last time, um, how did it make you feel? Like, how did you feel, let's go immediately after and a month after, maybe? Okay. Um, then I felt like I made the right decision only because I was scared. Mm -hmm. I knew that I had a safety net then, but then also too, like, Mm -hmm. than what I am now so and then that was my first time just being I didn't have nothing but myself okay. so then um, I felt like I made the right decision a month later you know I'm like mm -hmm. I could have I just kept doing what I was doing I gotta put up with all this you know <laughs> but um
kind of a kind of similar situation a little bit um, because he was working this job and somebody offered him almost the same job but for greater pay. And so then he was like, okay, I'm going to take this other job. And then his company was like, oh, what, how much they pay? Okay, well, we're going to match that and give you even more. So then he's like, okay, well, I'm going to stay. And I said, oh, no. If they going to give you more, <laughs> and it was significantly more, right? right? I'm like, they need you. So what is it that you're providing them? <laughs> we need to figure this thing out. What is it that you're providing them that they need so much? And if they need you like that, first of all, why would they pay you that little bit of money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 like somewhere else. And like, oh, we got it too. Right. You know, and is this something you can do on your own? Mm -hmm. And so that's when we started our own business because mm -hmm. we're like, we're just going to duplicate that mm -hmm. right. <laughs> you're obviously the magic sauce to their company mm -hmm. so you can have your own company and you're going to be the magic sauce to this new company mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that's when we actually went on our own uh, okay. and then, you know i think that's what was uh that was something that made me just go on my own because i was in a corporate corporate america for quite some time for like 10 years i was doing management for a retail company and um, i was like Everything I know here, as far as the business aspect, and I've just been learning it over time. I'm like, sure, I can just take all this energy I'm putting into this company and apply it to myself and everything that I knew, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. The main thing I hear with people, because like my mind, the way my mind works now is like right. when people say they want to do something or whatever, mm -hmm. I'm like, why you don't just go do that yourself? Start that yourself. Like, that's how my mind be thinking now. Right. Like, you can go do that yourself, and you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, but everybody don't don't trust themselves, mm -hmm. in, a, in a sense, like. And being on your own is not for everybody. Right, right, that's what I'm saying. Not it's not, it's not, it's not at all. Yeah, because if everybody's an entrepreneur, who's being your employees? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> This is always a simple way I think about it. Right. But yeah, it's not for everyone. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just, just want to make sure that um, I think I, I know which route I want to take. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident in it. But, it, you know, I still got that little, little devil sitting on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you sure? Like, you sure? So, so Rodney was pointing to this earlier. Um, you do realize that you're limiting yourself in, mm -hmm. in this very question that you're asking because when you say it's because of the benefit then to me you're saying my own business or you're saying I don't have a safety net I don't you know you're saying I'm not able to do this myself I'm not able to create a safety net I'm not able to create enough money where I can take a vacation. Like, I'm, I'm working hand to mouth, and that's all I can do. And so I don't see where you have any vision for, I can do way better than what I'm doing. They just paying me 50 little thousand dollars. I'm about to get paid, right. you know? So that is a, a mental limitation. It's not an actual physical limitation. I can see that. Facing that limitation on myself, like as far as um, just got to know, like just believing that even though what they're offering me, I can make that for myself. Mm -hmm. yeah, but trusting that I can <laughs> do it for myself without a question. Um, and I believe that I can. It's, I believe that I can. Um, but you don't have a vision. You don't. <laughs> you don't. So one of the things to do, because you already know, Rodney said, what do you want? You say, I want to be independent. You didn't hesitate. So, but it seems like your vision of being independent means I have no safety net. 
I can't, I don't have any benefits. And the benefit, you kept saying the benefit is I have my freedom. You right. say that uh-huh. over and over That's again. The That's benefit. the benefit. So really you're saying, I don't trust that I can make more money than what I'm making on my own. That's what you're putting out into the universe. And so until you can start having a different vision of what's possible, because I think you're thinking like, I'm already working 12 hours a day. I can't work 15 hours. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Like, I'm only human. I only have a a limited amount of energy and space and time. So it's like you're locked into that mindset. It's like the discussion we was having earlier. I was saying, like, I don't want to be working this hard for for my business every single day, you know, forever. Right. And it's like... After we got to talk, I'm realizing I don't trust nobody to work for me yet. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like I don't have the confidence and to have some like basically what I'm saying, like I don't trust nobody to work for me. And but it's like if I go on like that, any business venture I have, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. trying to work for all of them. Like, like trying to do it all myself. So, you know, it's just yeah, you gotta have that trust in it and trust in what you do want. What I, I was listening to the conversation earlier, what I meant to say, but I forgot, was, and I think even in that process, it's trusting others, but also, again, trusting your own decision and yourself. And if you're providing a culture, and, and the energy that you're putting out is, I want somebody in this position that's going to be very loving, and they're going to love it like it's theirs, then that's what's going to come to you. So the idea that somebody is like, just going to see it as just a job, well, that's only because that's how you're putting it out there. Like, oh, I'm only going to hire somebody who just going to see this as a job. They don't care if we don't do this or we don't do that because at the end of the day, they still get their paycheck. But if you were to put out, well, I want somebody who also sees this as theirs, and we all see it as a business together. It's a family thing. We understand the checks and balances, but at the same time, you love it like I love it. Then that's what you'll get. And then that employee, you won't have a thing. We've seen that all the time where people, companies and organizations have people who've been there 25, 30 years, why? Because they put it out that that's what they wanted. And it, it all go back to the, like, you know, your your paradigms on things. It's like, I'd have been at jobs where people ain't care about the job. Or, yeah, you know, that. they do whatever the job, you know, but they find a way to keep the job or how the case may be. So, you know, just having that mindset and putting that on what I'm doing, right. I can't do that. It's also like the company that you work for. So, I, hmm. I don't want to use a real life <laughs> <laughs> situation, but you know how they say when you're wrong, you do as wrong as do. And so, if you're at a company where it seems like they don't really care about you, and you know, if you do what you do, it if you don't, you don't. Um, they may not follow through with things about you. Right. your needs and desires and stuff they don't care then you kind of mm-hmm. don't care either but if you have a company organization where you care about your employees you care about their needs what they want you helping them put things in place for their life then they're going to do the same thing for you as well as for the other people that work there right yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've seen it both ways I've seen the, per- the people who pour the love onto you and you yeah. pour it back out. I've also been the person who, man, I don't feel like I'm getting what I'm eating, so <laughs> let it get done when it get done. Right. Been the fast right. food worker. Yes. Yeah. I've been in that position, you know, uh, sitting back and training people and just being just being who I am now and just showing people, hey, all right, so this is how you do it. The only reason why is just because I, I really did. I can, mm-hmm. you know, so I'm going to see you succeed and do better. If I was in your position, man, I would love it though. Sit back and just showing people, you know, like the energy and exactly what he was saying, the energy that you're giving off. I mean, you say you don't trust people, but at the end of the day, you're going to have one, two, maybe three, four, five people that you got to go through. And all that said the same thing until you get to that one person. You just like, ah, and then you just start to show them what you know. Before you know it, you be sitting back. You'd be like, why you ain't at work? Oh, what you call one? <laughs> <laughs> and, and another thing I thought about 
like we always say, it put limits on me. Mm -hmm. how, 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 how is my business going to ever expand like this? If I don't, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, can't do that. Yeah, that's right, though. Um, this, I, I just have to let go of um, facing and think about that limitation. And so, and one thing, a lot of times we always think we got to stop doing something mm -hmm. and we got to analyze. and But really, it's start doing something. Mm -hmm. So start imagining what would the perfect scenario be for you? What would you love for your business to look like? What would you love to be doing every day? What would you, how much money would you love to have coming in? And you just start thinking about that, start radiating that. Like you don't have to change anything except for just start radiating what it is you want, but you gotta have a vision for it. And like, I think your biggest vision as it relates to your job has been, I want to be independent. And you haven't gone much further than that, which is fine. But now I feel like this is being presented to you because it's asking you to take another, le uh, take another step. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's basically, it's, it's more like um, it's time to level up pretty much, mm -hmm. you know. Stay where I'm at. I'm ready to go to be. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of times we think everything is either or because you're like, I gotta make a decision, I gotta make it now. So, one thing about making decisions is you sometimes we feel like it's pressure to mm -hmm. make it and pressure to make the right one. But the thing is, you can make a decision today and then change your mind tomorrow. So, you could take the job mm -hmm. and then be like, oh no, this ain't working for me. Like you know, you literally could do that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah. How do we ever know what's the what, what the right decision would have been? It ain't like we can play out the other one mm -hmm. and watch it or something. Well, you would just know. Uh, I'm mean, I'm just know. Basically, what I'm saying then is the decision we make at the time is uh -huh. the right decision because that's where our mind is at. Yeah, I would say so. Because, like I've been saying, you can change your mind right. at any time. You can always change your thinking. Right. But I, I think, um, you know, like you say, you getting feedback from people. But you know, really, who we got to answer the question. I do. Right. And it's, it's really, and it's nothing wrong with getting feedback. But sometimes when you have so much chatter right. around you, you can't feel the answer. And I know that you know how to. Feel the answer. You know, I think um, too um, that I've been asking for feedback because I want to make sure there might be some things that I haven't thought about. So it's like, okay, somebody might hit on the point. And I'm like, hey, you know what? I really didn't think about it like that. So I'm, I just like I'm trying to make sure I'm covering. Mm -hmm. But you're doing it from a logical perspective. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Right. But you know, there's other levels higher levels you have more there's more to you than this physical body and you can make your decision from way out here instead of from just the very future. Yeah. 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 So this is this has been interesting um seeing the two perspectives like both business owners, and you trying to figure out, not figure out, but working out, like, how can I do less work as a business owner? And that part of that has to do with trusting other people. And you trying to figure out, should I get the benefits, which is really just money, two weeks worth, not, it's not like, <laughs> should I get these two weeks worth of money, or should I? maintain my freedom and independence. Or and create the benefits for yourself. But it all boils down to the same thing is having a vision of what you want. Um, we, You can do things 
the way it's been done, which is in this very physical world, you can figure it out, weigh the pros and cons, and make a decision based on that. Or you can do it from a space of all of this is available to me. Like all, all of this. All, all <laughs> this is available to me and I just have to know what I want and claim it. So I think uh, we'll come down to it next week and what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I think I do too. Uh, well, I can't wait for the announcement. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys for um, joining in on this conversation as we talk about to do or to not to do, <laughs> to stay independent or not. But really, it is all about trusting yourself. Um, and whichever decision you make, you're going to be fine regardless. <laughs> you're going to be fine regardless. And so a lot of times we put so much weight on a decision. Mm -hmm. And either way you go, you're going to work it out. <laughs> sure. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining yeah. us. And we will look forward to Until then, this is about that. This is Steve. It's Rugby. Thanks for running.